here at Keeper Equine Sanctuary. Today is Sunday, November 3rd, 2019, and this is Monroe. I just want to share a little bit of our daily routine with you and let you know that training doesn't have to be intensive. It doesn't have to be something that you set an hour a day aside to do, or that you set times aside during the week to do. You can do training at any time, just during your normal daily activities and during the normal feeding and letting of your dog out. So this is Monroe and this is his crate. And Monroe loves his crate because ever since he was a puppy, I've made it a special place for him and a safe place for him. He gets lots and lots of stuffed chew toys and puzzle feeders in his crate. And he loves that. He also gets to eat in his crate and when he needs time alone, he goes in his crate on his own when the door is open. So he's very attached to this crate and that's what you want for your puppy or your dog because it's a very useful tool. Some dogs enjoy sleeping in their crates. If you have a dog that has a chewing issue, that has an issue with say cats or other small animals in the home, that has issues when you have company, that has issues when you might have service providers over, it's great to be able to put them in a crate or a kennel run and have them love it and have them look at it as a positive reward and not as something negative. It just helps with management, especially when you have more than one dog. Every day Monroe runs to his crate as fast as he can so that he can eat. And then when it's time to come out of his crate, he's not really as enthusiastic about coming out. So he will lay in there for a really long time because his dish is still in there and some of his stuffed chew toys are still in here. And so what I have to do really if I want him to come out of his crate, I have to make sure I remove these items first or he'll stay in there all day long and guard those. The next thing that I do is I take it as an opportunity to do a few training reviews with him and I make it fun for him. Training should be fun, it should be a game. I train my dogs every day, I train a lot. Every time I have free time that I'm interacting with my dogs, I'm training them in some way, even if it's a second here, a second there. And I want them to be good family members to me and to the other dogs and animals that live here. I don't really care about competing with the obedience training that I do. To me, that's not fun. To me, what's fun is making training a game for you and your dog. And Monroe loves this game, don't you? So first I'm gonna tell him to wait. I really don't even have to say that because he loves his crate so much he waits in there automatically. And then I'm gonna practice come. Monroe, come! Good boy, sit. And so what I just practiced was a come in front, or it means come and sit in front of me. Then I'm gonna ask him around to sit next to me. What a good boy. Down. Yes, good job. Stay. What a good stay. Yes. Okay, hey, Monroe. Front. You're a good boy. Around. Sit. Down. You're a good boy. Up on the table. Sit. Yes, good boy. Okay, Monroe, come down. Up on this table. Sit. Yes, good boy. So I just have him do some random things that he knows how to do and that he obviously enjoys doing. And I make it fun and then we're going to go outside and he can enjoy the nice weather. And he's free to bark and he's free to dig and he's free to wrestle with the other dogs and play and do whatever he wants because that yard is his yard. It's his space to have fun in and be a dog.